This school was uh, started 14 years ago. It was one of the first uh, new small schools that the Department of Education did in uh, cooperation with community and parents. The school was started by a group of um, parents that had aligned themselves with a group called EBC, East Brooklyn Congregations. So the churches were looking at transforming neighborhoods. And part of the work that the organization did was mostly around housing, but also in terms of the work they wanted to do. If you're going to transform a neighborhood, a community, you have to also work with the schools. So this school was started, and it was really to give uh, young people in Bushwick uh, an opportunity, another option to the community school, which was Bushwick High School, which now is closed uh, because of its uh, failure to graduate students um, you know, at an acceptable rate. And so for a very long time, this was the only option other than Bushwick High School that many students had. <clears throat> the parents worked with the Department of Ed to form uh, this small high school. And it has always enjoyed a great reputation because of the work that is done here. Today in Bushwick, uh, thanks to the work that has been done in the last few years uh, with the new small schools movement, we have eight high schools now in Bushwick. And so it's really young people here have uh, options of the size of the school that they go to. They have different themes. They have different uh, opportunities. Parents really can choose now uh, what's a best fit for, for their students. So it's really the last four years in Bushwick have just been phenomenal in terms of the work that all of these high schools that we're all doing together because a lot of us work together in making sure that the students find the right fit for them. Parents are knocking on our doors to get their students here. And so at that point, you know, my, uh, my vision for the school was going from good to great because we have a good school, there's a lot of good things happening here. And what we want to do is get some great things happening. And that's really the, the state of things here. What happened with the uh, transformation of the Department of Education, this was an alternative school. And so it did a lot of things differently. It then became part of Region 4. And my job has really been to guide the school through that transition of going from becoming an alternative school to becoming a school in, as part of Region 4. And with that came, for example, one of our challenges in the last three years has been the fact that our admissions process has changed. Before, the school was, had a lot more say in terms of the students that came here, the number of students that came here, and now with, um, with the new Department of Ed, you know, we are part of the regular admissions process. So we have a larger number of students from the neighborhood. We have a larger number of students that are spe in special education. We have a larger number of uh, English language learners. And we also uh, have to take what, what are called over-the-counter students which are students that may come at the, in the middle of the year, transfers from other schools. And that always happened before, but not to the degree that is happening now um, the last three years. So our special ed population has doubled. Our English language learners doubled, almost tripled. And uh, that's been a challenge. So we've needed to really continue to do the great work that was being done here now with a different student population.